fans deserve this one. They've been such a good, loyal group all the way through, capacity crowd after capacity crowd. Well, I'll tell you, these, these fans have been great, but this team we got is great, and there's a great bunch of guys on there. And, and when some of these guys, one of the guys goes down, a little somebody else picks them up, and that's what makes it so great. They play together. Rapid Robert Pettit standing by and Bud Flatner again. Well, tonight we saw, as you've heard the other players say, one of the greatest individual performances ever turned in by a man. That was Bob Pettit. And Big Bob, I'm so happy for you, and my sincere congratulations to you. You really thrilled me with that exhibition. Thank you very much, buddy boy. It was a wonderful victory, and I, I'd just like to say that I think I'm playing with the greatest group of ball players that I've ever had the privilege of seeing, not only on the basketball court, but also as individuals. And it's a pleasure to play with them and to be associated with the Hawk organization. Well, Bob, I got to buy that. I second that because it has been a long time on the sports trail with me. And these last three years, this group of Hawks, it just kind of picked me up and has given me one of the biggest lifts in my life. Bob, what are the future plans now? Well, buddy, I'm going to leave uh, probably Monday morning to join a professional tour that's going to tour the country uh, playing, you know, this uh, East-West All-Star yes. Tour that plays all over the country, play 22 games. And then, buddy boy, I'm going to have a week in Miami, and then I'm going home. And oh. they're going to play the Dickens getting me out of Baton Rouge. And, Bob, uh, dur <laughs> during the summer, now we want you to watch our games on television. And uh, uh, you're going to be in the insurance business and the real estate business. Is that right? That's right, buddy. My family has Pettit Realty in Baton Rouge. And also, I have my own insurance agency there. And I work in that in the off season. That is what I plan on going into when I do uh, step out of playing basketball. Well, Bob, uh, we wish you, as you know, all the luck in the world. We've been so fortunate to have a man of your caliber and, and talents here in St. Louis. And you know, all of us here love you and uh, have a real nice summer. Don't forget about us. Come on up and see us once in a while, will you? Thank you, buddy boy. Fine. Very much. Fine. Here, I have Mr. Pettit here, who has traveled in from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I've gotten to know Mr. Pettit pretty well the last couple of years. And tonight must be, and you've seen Bob in some great exhibitions, but I imagine that you just got to be a little bit welled up about tonight. That's right. It was really a, a great game, and it was a great team game, too. They all played really fine ball. Oh, uh, there's, there was no doubt about that. I mean, not one man can, can carry a world's championship, but it was, it was a, an exhibition that just more or less stunned me because uh, the, the magnitude of the performance of, of your boy, Big Bob, was just really something. It's never been done before, you know, scoring 50 points in a World Series game. You gonna take Bob back with you? Are you gonna see any of the games in the no, tour? No, uh, yes, we're gonna see the game in New Orleans and maybe the one in Houston. I, I see. Uh, uh, there's a crowd, uh, a big crowd from Baton Rouge going down to see the game in New Orleans. It's at Loyola Stadium in New Orleans. And uh, I think it'll be a sellout. Well, you and Mommy now be careful going back home, and don't don't work the big guy too hard this we summer. We won't, huh? All right. We've we've really fallen in love with you people here in St. Louis. It's been wonderful. We've been up uh, quite a few times this year, and. Uh, uh, I'm kind of tempted to move up here with your town. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You've come up about six times in those six games. I think Bob scored about 300 points. So I think we're going to just go on down and get you next year That'll and not be, let you get away. You won't have a bit of trouble. <laughs> All right, fine. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Pettit. And now, Willie, is that just about it? I think they'd like to clear out the dressing room now. And uh, Ben Kerner talked to his men as they before they depart for either a tour or going back home. We're so very happy that many of these men will make their home here this summer, so we'll get a chance to see them and visit with them. And we're looking forward to a tremendous campaign of 1958 and 59. And here among the crowd, at five foot five, and we almost lost him, was the, it is the, the president of the NBA, Mr. Maurice Podolov. Uh, you know, buddy, when you give me that five foot five, you give me advantage about five inches. <laughs> Uh, buddy, this has been a terrific series, but of all the games I've ever seen, this last one was one of the most wonderful ones uh, that has ever been produced. And I think that this team here, uh, the management, Ben, should be congratulated in as superlative terms we can find. And I think for their success, there's a lot of honor that can go to a lot of people. I'd say it can go to the fall staff people who furnished so much financial support and made it possible to keep going. I understand that you're the best salesman 
that uh, basketball ever had. And I'm not inclined uh, to differ with you. I'm inclined to agree with the unanimous opinion. So there's a lot of credit to you, and of course, Ben, for having the courage to do the job he did. Definitely merits a lot of praise. And I'm a little sorry there isn't another game. I'd have enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice, thank you very kindly. And you know, we'll be in to see you in New York this summer. And I, I know that you were thrilled by this series. And I think that we kind of enriched the coffers of the NBA a little bit because these well, have all been sellouts. I, I'll say this, buddy. We haven't run a deficit yet. <laughs> well, that's mighty, mighty fine. The president of the NBA, Mr. Maurice Pidelov. You know, the last three years, all the action has come your way at the Hawks games, brought to you by Falstaff, America's premium quality beer. There is none better, and they're going to bring you the games again next year. So even as early as this, on the, on the eve of our world's championship, we're looking toward the campaign of 1958-59. And for just a great bunch of world's champions, I want to join them in thanking all of you for your wonderful support this year that you'll think about us during the summer and get set for our campaign of 1958-59. You've been great. It's been so wonderful working these ball games, as I've said many times. It has been one of my greatest pleasures. And tonight, climax by watching the Hawks down the Boston Celtics 110-19 to to capture the championship of the world. My thanks, too, to Gene Kirby, who works all the games with me on the road, and to Jim Butler, who joined our staff this year. They both have been such a big help to me. They're wonderful guys, and they'll be back again next year. So I think that's just about it. Bill Sheehan, our producer, says, all right. So now, what do we do? We head back to the studios. Again, thanks and good night from the dressing room of the world's champion, St. Louis Hawks. Good night, everybody.